Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two, and, and most of you will never probably run into this. But while that other video was loading on how to create this, I realized that my nodes aren't touching, and this would work. Laser engraver would probably still cut that. If you're cutting it, well, he's not going to cut it. He's going to print it. I mean, or in, in raster, or in, even if you printed it, this is going to show up. But it's not going to work because we, if you remember from the first video, we converted them to an object. So the easiest fix for something like this, you can't use the normal join the nodes by selecting, let's zoom in here, take your shape tool and join those nodes, uh, windows, dockers, join curves, it just doesn't work. So let's back up here and unjoin them for what they are. But let's look at them in a different way. We did make them an object so we can left click and we'll right click them in black. And now we have this. We can take the shape tool and we can move these two nodes over that node. And you'll if you hold down the control button, you'll get an even one. And then take your virtual segment delete key. Now I'm still a little bit off. I didn't get that right, but we could still grab the shape tool. And I think we could probably join these curves now or join these nodes. And let's just delete one of them. There we go. Now in here, we could probably join these. There you go. And voila, you're done. And then you could just take it and fill it back in with black. I would actually take away the outline depending on how thick you need it. But that's how to look at things at a different light. Maybe, you know, you've got two separate lines because we converted these to curves. I mean, converted them to an object. So they're not lines anymore. They're, you can see they're an object. And you could just, you know, move this down, grab these two nodes and do this. And then you could probably actually select all these and align these nodes vertically. And you wouldn't have to do anything, but I, I would feel a lot better if the lines weren't there. So let's just see if we can't look at it with the line feel there and just delete this. And then the same thing on this one. Now we've got those lines together. We can use our join these curves. And I would actually delete that other, whoop, maybe I wouldn't. Uh, maybe put those two joins together and Nope. Um, need to join. Well, I've got my tolerance set way too low, so it's not going to join those two curves. Anyway, you kind of get the idea. Now I see what's going on. That line is actually too long, so it's overlapping. It's not going to join those two nodes. But if we set my tolerance, and you never really know when you're drawing how big things are. Let's just see how... That's like 0 0.04 distance. I was using the parallel dimension tool. So let's point, point 0.4 now. This is, I know I'm going a little too fast, but join those two nodes and you got rid of that node. You got rid of that long node. To make it more better, a little perfect. And then all you have to do is right click, fill and left click, no outline and you have an arrow shaped line. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.